parameter right today what we are going to do is we are going to work with browser based application so till now so what we have done we worked with a desktop based application right so now we will see so how to work with browser based application okay now if you want to work with any browser based application so in win <coughs> windows based application so how many modes we have to spy we have win32 accessibility and region right the same way for browser based also we have html mode win32 accessibility <coughs> and region so these are the four modes we have for windows based win32 is the default mode same way for the browser based html is the default mode so most of the browsers it is going to work with html mode so must and should if you want to work with html mode your screen resolution resolution should be 100 percent remember this and at the same time your browser browser zoom is 100 percent you should so check before working with browser based application your screen resolution as well as your browser zoom it should be both the things it should be 100 percent or so some solar cops so screen resolution it will not show you what is the the percentage you can go for recommended settings you can go for recommended settings but zoom we have to work with 100 percent and remember when you are working with html mode <coughs> here always it will be work with internet explorer so this is a default thing so blue prism has given so always it will work with ie so you can able to sometimes you can able to work with chrome you can able to work with firefox but all the options will not you can't able to spy you can't able to create a elements that's why most of the time we have to by default the blue prism has given the direction you have to must and should you have to use any internet explorer only any browser application for example here so what we are going to do is i will work with google.com observe this we need to what we need to do here is i am going to click on i am feeling lucky right after that when i click on feeling lucky it will display all the doodles all the doodles each and every day <coughs> doodles displayed in google from this i need to search any specific doodles like mother's day observe this click on this from this i need to capture the so first doodle Okay, first minute. Let's run to some other language. English. Okay. Now here we are going to search. When you search, see this, it's displaying all the mother state totals each and every year. It has been displayed for the different different countries. From here, our requirement is we need to capture this. This is our basic requirement. What we have to implement here how many options we have performed first we launched google.com right first we launched to launch any application we have to go for application modular after launching google so click on feeling lucky this is another action we need to click on feeling lucky after that click on feeling lucky we search we type in search type in <coughs> search box after that we have search option we need to click on search we need to click on search after that you need to capture the date so these are the things what we need to implement any application before automating must and should you have to go through that application then only you can able to understand which option we have to use now 
here we will work with Google. Now go to China. March. Right click. Create an object. So we will give it as a Google Doodles. Doodles process. Next. Next. What we need to do here. Now go to application. Business object. We need to create a application modular now next here this is browser based application right click on this next it has to be launched through executable file always that is a preferable and next and observe this what it says explorer.exe it is internet explorer i explorer.exe by default it has taken because this is the suggested so browser for browser based applications now next and here what it is asking give me the url dot google dot com this is the url we required now next next remaining everything next 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 <coughs> now observe main element has been created with the google dot com and then explorer and it is the main element right now we will launch it when you launch it has to launch by using explorer itself also this i'm going to close this google chrome now it's launched right through internet explorer it has been launched after that what we need to do we need to click on i am feeling lucky come here application modular create a element feeling feeling Okay, I'm creating all the elements after that we will create a actions so if you are going to get confused then create a element first action create a element action do it individually one by one okay identify now see this by default we have HTML mode if you press alt win 32 accessibility region and then HTML mode right what we need to do here we need to capture this we need to spy this control left click <clears throat> it has been captured all the properties in win 32 windows based application what we have done we uncheck wherever we don't have values right by default we are unchecking wherever we don't have values the same way here we have to implement apart from that we have to remember one more thing always we need to uncheck parent url i will tell you going forward why we need to uncheck parent url uncheck parent url this is mandatory uncheck parent url now observe this here remaining everything has been done you will see so in later example i will tell you why we need to uncheck a parent url now remaining things have it settled now highlight if you want to cross check just a minute now highlight yes it's working now apply and another element after that clicking on feeling lucky what is happening it is displaying all the doodles observe this we need to spy this here we need to type right search doodle we need to type here now go to here application modular search type in search box type in search box now identify come to the search box control left click almost all the options will be same for browser based and windows based so uh, creating a application modular creating a elements and then creating a action <clears throat> is the same thing and try to highlight yes it's working okay. now apply after that so what we need to do after we are typing that after you are typing some information here like others day so after that we need to click on the search right so again spelling wrong mothers day click on this so then it will display all the mother's day doodles here we need to click on a search option search option again we need to <coughs> create a element for that 
add element such such identify and come here after this we can able to identify this control left click uncheck everything where we don't have values and then uncheck the parent url as well okay now observe highlight highlight yes it's working right after this what we need to do we need to get the value from here right if you observe here this is a link this is not a value this is value we need to capture this date add element date and <clears throat> identify come here observe this we can able to spy this from this what we require we need a text okay we will see that how to take it now uncheck everything same time parent URL now observe this nothing okay now try to highlight yeah let's highlight it now we created all the elements all the elements whatever is required now apply okay now what we need to do we need to create actions i'm going to close this come here object studio first action by default first and last actions will be launch and terminate for any application right rename launch when you are launching so what we need to do we need to use navigate right and give the link double click here main element we have to use to launch and here the action will be launch okay once it is launched click ok now if you want to test it you can test it's launching if you observe here when it is launching it is taking some time right to completely browser window so what we have to do we have to use a wait option right so you can implement wait here from here to here here to here wait is static dynamic and is a defined so it has to wait up to feeling lucky right next next element is feeling lucky and then we can give in some 10 seconds or 20 seconds whatever it may be feeling lucky if it exists then only go to the next thing that is the meaning of this after that launch what we need to do feeling lucky right feeling lucky now what you have to perform on the feeling lucky mouse click again you have to use navigate and give this double click and feeling lucky and then click center see this based on the property it will show you click center or double click center how come you will know that you need to which one i have to use if you go through that application then only you can able to understand are you using a mouse click or using a double click so one click it is accepting so we will use one click and click ok now reset and then run this again if you observe to completely open the doodle series browser it's still browsing so it will take some time right again so again we have to use wait here right wait then use this use this here until the search box element if it exists and then do 20 seconds if it exists then we can go for next thing otherwise don't go here what you need to do here feeling lucky click center we are using click center it will click on that reset and next thing will be after clicking on that we need to type something here right come here use this thing <coughs> typing search box 
click OK. Now, what you need to perform? You need to type right. You need to enter some data. So use right. Double click. Go to search box. Go to search box. What you need to type here? Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Okay. Now click OK on this. Reset. And <coughs> run. See this? It's typed on Mother's Day. After that, we need to click on a search. Come here. Right click. New. Search. Search what we are doing. Again, it's a mouse click. Use navigate. Double click. Search. And then what we are doing? Click. Click center. Now click OK. Now reset and then run this when you are running this you can able to see see this it search and then it is displaying days from this what we need to do we need to capture the date by click this one date click ok when you are using this what we have to perform we need to get the date so use a read option and double click what is the element name date what you need to get from this get current value we need to get the value from the date what is the date it has to display in this data item that is our requirement when you are displaying <coughs> this now observe this reset run it has to capture this right march 11 2018 if you observe here Mm -hmm. See this March 11, it has been captured. So everything is done. So now last action will be terminate. Right? I will close this. Okay. Right click, new, <coughs> terminate. Click OK. Always we have to use navigate and main element to terminate. Main element. And then option called. has been closed right so it will not do anything now each and every action we created then if you want to use that in a process studio what you have to do you need to publish each and everything you need to publish then only we can able to use that in a process studio same approach for windows based application or browser based application so same thing we have to do in our organizations also only the changes based on your application based on our requirement so our uh, actions will change that's it and then the elements you are creating will how many elements you are going to create that will change remaining everything it will be same now go to process studio we will create a process here right click create a process google doodles process now next finish now we have every action by using actions we have to use those things which we created in our object studio now what is the business object name we created let's say google doodles and this is a business object name and then what is the action first launch we need to launch right first thing is we are launching now click OK. After launch, what we need to do? We need to click on Feeling Lucky. Feeling Lucky. And then object name, Google Doodles. And then action will be Feeling Lucky. And click OK on this. After that Feeling Lucky, what we are doing? After click on Feeling Lucky, we need to type something in the search box. So type and Google Doodles business object action type in search box okay good after that type in search box we are going to click on a search 
search and <clears throat> Google do those and we are going to search and click OK. <coughs> After the search, what we are doing, we are going to capture the date, right? Date and then Google totals date. How many things we have? Three, four, five, six. Six actions we have date. And then last one is terminate. We have to use terminate double click. Terminate. Now Google totals and terminate. Click OK. Now what you have to do is give the link. Start launch feeling the key type search date and then terminate after that end reset and run observe this what is happening it's launched after launch completely it is going to click on feeling lucky once it is done so we have given some wait option there if feeling lucky check exist is available observe this Missing link from weight choice feeling lucky. Something is not properly done. Go to right click reaction in object studio. Okay, after this, this was the error. After filling also, this was the error. And then type is such a many everything is fine. Control S. We didn't give if exist what it has to do. If it exists, we have to end, right? It should not go to the timeout. That's why so it's throwing error here. Okay. Now refresh, save, and then what we need to do, we need to refresh it here. Okay, come to process studio. Process studio. Please, sorry. We need to reset and we need to refresh it. Yeah, it has been refreshed. Now I'm going to close this. Okay, now we will run it again. search we are typing after that we are clicking on search it is showing after the search it's not opening right so here so before opening so it is going to the date so again what is mean by that again we need a wait option here right click go to object studio observe this here in search we need a wait after the search it is taking some time to open all the doodles again it means we need a wait here just wait double click the date has to exist then only go for the another action otherwise don't go so here we will give some 30 seconds click ok, okay. now again save this one. <coughs> save changes Refresh. Come to process studio. I will close this. <coughs> Closes. Reset. And then refresh. Okay, done. Now click on this.
so okay now i will match photo supplied query item where read stage it's it seems it's not clicking on search just a minute we'll go to process in search where right click view action objects to do come to this click center for the search and this is fine it is writing the thing it is trying to click on search option click center okay it has to click just a minute I will check this one is this is going to work or not okay just observe this again I will use the element click center click ok now we see one more time studio and here it is not taking the element okay view action in object studio after the search it has to pick the date in a read when you are reading it has to pick the date yep date the the current value text in this one If it exists, then we have to go. Otherwise, it will come out as it is showing the error. So that's the reason. <coughs> Control S, Save Changes, Come to Process Studio. Now reset and refresh. Must and should remember if you done any changes in your Object Studio, must and should if you have to refresh, you have to refresh in your Process Studio. Then only you are. <coughs> changes will be reflected in your process view otherwise it will not now we are going to run this It seems it is not taking away. We will do one thing. So we will try to no match match with the page date. It is going to publish. Instead of clicking on search button, it is moving to the another page. That's why it is throwing it up. Okay, what we will do is we will spy one more time. So by using go to object studio, object studio. Here we are launching, reset, launch, one by one will go. So if you want to do this, so then we can we have another option called step and step overs, right? We can use those things also if it has been launched. Now, next thing is Object Studio and come to Table Mapping, reset and then run.
click on Feeling Lucky. So it is working up to here. Fine. Next action is type in search box. Right? Reset and then run. This is also it is working fine. Yeah. Mother's Day. After that, it has to click on this. Right? That is our requirement. From here, search. Now reset and then run. Okay. Observe this. It is taking some time. And it is clicking on here. Okay. Now it's working. It seems it's working fine. After that, we have to go for this. Now come to process studio. So after type, so we are going to click on search. Here. Google do this process and then we have to be say search click okay one thing before that go here to application <coughs> all right click on that application search what you have okay we will do one thing again we will try to identify something identify again this from here, this one we need to identify control left click. Okay, so maybe so when we are unchecking, we have unchecked something else. We will see that now. Currently, we are having all this thing and then this one. Okay, now also yeah. four things. Now try to have it. Yes, it's working fine. Apply. Okay, come to the object studio and save these things. So, and in the search, again, use the same element. It will pick and click center. Click center. Okay. Now click on OK. Now save this and refresh it. Now come to, I will close this one. Come to process studio. So, process studio, reset, and we are going to refresh everything, and then we will run it again. Now answer this. Each and everything it has to work. So when everything is working fine in your object studio, each and every action when you are running individually, you can assume that so we have implemented properly 100% so properly. But when you are working within a process studio, if it is not so executing the specific stage, so maybe the issue with properties, maybe the issue with the weight, it will be like that. Okay. Again, it seems it is not taking. Okay, then I will check <coughs> something here. Check studio. Here we are using weight. Because the process is running. As it is going to read stage before executing this. Just a minute. Observe this before executing this, it is going to the read stage and it is not showing any error here it has to finish this in a search come here right click view action in object studio here up to where it came here it is not picking the things okay now for search this document what we are using we are using date check exist equal to true
there it is not exist this is coming to the time out and then going to the next stage and then clicking on a date here and then when it is executing through it it is saying that so date is not available okay that is the issue so here so we need to make it as a system intervention instead of that it will use this we get we will try with double click center or we have any other activities navigate so I'll click and drop verify we will see with the double click center <coughs> is the same just try in your machine also it has to work and then reset refresh I will close this one in system now then we are going to run this one I will run this one So here see this the option itself it is disabled so maybe it's a browser issue or something just a minute we'll see that we'll check yeah zoom is 100 percent observe this zoom is 100 percent still it is executing clicking on this search it is coming to another action okay so manually so we will do that and then we will see the remaining things and then I will tell you so why it is not working here and then work with the tracer okay so now we will run again but anyway so we have given some weight option there right Just a minute. so we will do it that particular step manually reset fresh and then one more time so this once the page is open, once you have got the search box, then I will click on that. You will see that remaining options. It is going to execute or not. Okay. It has been exchanged, it has been executed. Search option. It is taking more time. It depends on your internet speed also. So where to use a weight, where to where we, we should not use weight. We have to check the thing. <clears throat> then only we can able to understand. Okay, see this? It's taking long, very long time. Right? It should not take this much of time. So because so maybe so my internet connection is having some issue so it's very slow today observe this google doodles click link and then so if it is available mother's day yeah it will manually it has been executed okay. again we will run and then manually we will do that Okay. Now it has been executed, but 
but so what is the output we are taking date can you able to see the date here where the date is generating date is generating in the back end in your object studio right here in object studio here the date we are capturing this one we need to see that in a process studio <clears throat> then what we have to do click on this we have to create a output parameters right then we can able to see the date here output number sorry but we'll see what text to something it will take it as a text date from value from the date it has taken right now click ok now we create an output parameter here save changes refresh that output parameter you need to call there in your process studio where in the date output come to the output observe storing out output or you can give any name so you can able to now when you are running this you can able to see the values here in your process studio once it is set now reset and again i will try to run Now observe the date. Date you can able to see it here, right? 11, 2008. Do the implement the same thing. So in your machine and <clears throat> but from this, I will give one assignment to you. What you have to do is, uh, you all have some email accounts, right? Gmail or Yahoo, whatever it may be. What you have to do is launch your Gmail account. Launch your Gmail account. So once you launch your Gmail account. So here, so clear all the browsing history. Then you will get an option called use another account. Otherwise, use another account. Spy this username, and then spy this next. After that, we have to enter your password. Your password. After that, so when you click on open sign in, it will go to your sign in page, right? Once you went to the sign in page, so you will get an option called compose mail inside that right spy that compose compose sometimes it will accept html if the html is not accepting go for <clears throat> accessibility go for accessibility mode and try to spy and then so give some email id in a two box then if you want to give that to you need to spy and then subject you need to spy give some subject and then content you need to spy that and give some content so this is from the bot automation and then after that click on a send option once the email is sent successfully then sign out option go to the sign out button and then click on the sign out so this is in what you have to perform okay try this if you have any doubts we will discuss so before that implement the same thing so that what we have done in the google then you will be more clear so how to work with browser based application okay <coughs> Stop it here. Any any doubts in this class? Anyone? Uh, Dinesh, uh, will it yeah. be possible for you to share uh, the recorded session by today so that uh, 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 we can do the assignment based on uh, this session? Sure, sure. Okay, I will try that. Oh. Yeah, that's fine. And uh, another thing is, uh, you mentioned that uh, Internet Explorer is the default browser for Blue Prism, right? Yes. So does it mean that uh, we can use only the uh, IE browser, yes. or we can also use the uh, Chrome or Firefox browser also? So it depends on your applications. Sometimes by default, so they have given Internet Explorer only. All the HTML options will work in Internet Explorer. If you try to spy with some other explorer like Chrome or Firefox, it will not support. That's why by default we have to work with Internet Explorer. That is the best option. Okay. Uh, because why I'm asking is uh, mm. because there are uh, the options. Mm. It's.
your voice is breaking gopal krishna yes sir otherwise you can type here your query hello adish can you hear me yep 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 ऑटोमेशन इन ब्लू प्रेज so we have to follow most essential we have to follow explorer only so explorer is the best thing so when you install any os also by default you will get explorer right in any application when they are developing also it has to be compatible yeah. with internet explorer only first thing first rule will be for any yeah. application is internet explorer so if you are <clears throat> good with internet explorer then only they will check the other things like google chrome or firefox whatever it may be is it compatible with that or not It, it will be like that. Must and should we have to follow with Explorer only? Oh, okay, okay. But uh, if required, uh, we can use the Chrome browser also, if right? Required, we can use. We can use. So, but it is oh, okay. not suggestible. Yes. Okay, got okay. it. That's fine. And uh, how about this one? Because in case of Windows 10, mm -hmm. uh, we'll be having uh, the browser called Microsoft Edge, right? Windows, no. It's Internet Explorer only, right? uh will be uh, having something like microsoft edge because i am uh, i have windows 10 in my laptop okay. and uh, the default uh, browser is uh, microsoft edge which is uh, which is the e browser only okay. but uh, it's not like, like uh, um, uh, the proper ie version which you can see in the xp or some other uh, uh, windows so in windows 10 it will be microsoft okay i understand your question just try with uh, create an application yeah. modular so which one it is taking just up so that If it is accessing by your application modular, then we can well and good. We can go with that. Okay. If you have any issues, so just we will check the things. Okay. Just try with this. Oh, sorry. I think uh, um, uh, I face some network friction between. Okay. Can you repeat your answer, please? Okay. <clears throat> try with the Internet Explorer when you are creating application modular. By default, it will take IE dot Explorer, IE Explorer dot. Right? Okay. based on that okay like yeah accepting or not if it is not accepting then we will see that okay oh, okay yeah thanks okay, sure. thank you thank you yeah thank you <clears throat> thank you see sorry